Hi guys, sorry I look such a state, but I have just got to ESF headquarters and we're going to be filming some content today. So I thought I would bring you along, show you some of the looks, show you some of the products and I will be sure to link everything down below. Yeah. Amazing. You're amazing. Ah. You're so cute. I've been so bad with filming, but we have got lots of content so far. There's lots more to film and just look how amazing. <gasps> The aesthetics, the headquarters. I am in love, obsessed. Look at this stunning pair. Sophie, what's this pair called? The Georgie. <gasps> the Georgie. And she is BEA beautiful. Shagadelic, baby, yeah. I just thought I would show you some of the earrings that fabulous Sophia ESS creates. So mm -hmm. these are the Georgie, Georgina? Georgie. Georgie. The Georgie. And then here we have this amazing turquoisey pair with the lightning bolts. Can you even cope? They are incredible. This is the thing about supporting small brands and people who actually make their own stuff. It's one of a kind. You're not getting the same stuff that H&M and Primark and Topshop and Zara and all those people are sending out. You're actually getting something different and actually worth its value. Focus isn't working. Let me get my face out. This pair are incredible, perfect for summer, perfect for holidays. Can we just, can you even cope? Look at them. They're so nice and they're so soft as well. I am just envisioning gypsy style skirt, bikini, a long thin caftan. That's the look, that's the look I'm going for. Maybe like a nice head scarf as well to get the hair out of the face in the heat. So it's just all about the earrings. Hello everyone. I am looking, oh, hair stuck to my face. Slightly less done up now. Um, it is an entire day later and I thought I would just catch up with you all. I had so much fun yesterday filming content for Sophie's brand Earsass. And it was actually one of the mums from school that recommended me. She like reached out and was like, I think it'd be really good for this company that I'm working for. And yeah, so we just all connected and it was so much fun. And we're definitely gonna be doing more things in the future. So that is really exciting. Be sure to go over to my Instagram and to Earsass's Instagram. I'll link them both below in the description box so that you can check out all the content. And we're like making funny reels and did some stills and all that stuff. So it was really fun. But I thought I would jump on now to talk you through, I just had a shower, obviously. And I just thought I would talk you through, through some products that I am loving at the moment. So I have spoke to you about this Nux oil before where I showed you it. It's what my mum bought me back from Dubai. And I love it, absolutely love it. It's every bit as good as the Luxor. If anything, it's actually better. Now that I've got the dosage right, of not putting too much and I've used it after every time I've washed my hair. I only wash my hair like twice a week, literally max. Um, and I mean, it still looks completely full. So that's definitely gonna last me a nice long time. So I've really been enjoying that. Toothpaste is the standard Aloe Dense Triple Action, which you can get this from TK Maxx or Amazon, like you can pretty much get it anywhere now, it's very accessible. So still loving that. Obviously, you all know I am obsessed. I could basically be a brand ambassador for Simply Affected at this point because I will never use any other deodorant and I actually do get fearful because they are a small brand. I actually get scared like, what if they pack it in and stop making this deodorant? What will I do? 
so please do check them out everything that i share with you guys i will link below so that you can find it yourselves they're not affiliated links by the way i just link it for your ease so yeah don't think i'm like oh, go click the link because i make money i mean i wish i could but that's not the case okay moving on the other thing that i'm loving i think i have mentioned this before but i finally got some more c buckthorn seed oil so nice for your skin i like to use this in the morning sensor issues i like to use this in the morning and before doing my makeup i don't use a primer before i do my makeup um, I know that's like frowned upon by a lot of people. My face would probably be a lot smoother with makeup on if I did use a primer, but I don't. If you know one that is a low tox, low chemical or chemical free primer, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to check one out if you recommend it to me. But yeah, this is 100% pure and organic and I love it. It gives you a nice glow even on the days that you maybe don't want to wear makeup. So I love that for the mornings. And then the next one, my mum actually recommended this, and it's Japanese Rice Bran Oil. And I've been using this at night on my face and after the shower, and it's really moisturising, it's lovely. Yeah, really enjoying that as well. So that is all the products. Oh no, I've got one more. Hang on. The Mother Load. And unfortunately, it does not come in aesthetic packaging, much to my dismay. So. This one is kept in a drawer and then I have to put it on the radiator every day. But it is. Is that gonna focus? Okay, I'm just gonna hold it here next to me because when I try to hold it up, it just doesn't focus. It's 100% pure coconut oil all the way from Goa. And it's incredible. I use this. You're probably thinking, why are you showing us something that you cook with when you're in your bathroom fresh shower? I don't use it to cook with. You guys know I only cook with 100% butter. I mean, you can use lard as well, like we use animal fat, you know, goose fat and things. But I don't cook with any oils. Um, I use this for moisturizer. And guys, is there anything more annoying than buying a moisturizer and it doesn't moisturize you? Yeah, that's literally every single moisturizer that you find on a shelf in a, in a store. They don't moisturise you properly. I know some people say like Aveeno is really good or E45 is really good. I bought E45 because actually Molly May said in one of her videos that someone had said to her about moisturisers not actually moisturising you. Um, they just give you like a certain feel for whilst you put it on. But they had told her that E45 worked. So I was like, I'm going to get E45 because my skin's really dry. And even that, it just, no good. This. Make sure it is pure coconut oil as well. So it's hard, obviously. You have to put it on the radiator or sometimes, because my radiator is actually turned off at night, so sometimes in the morning I just run the hot tap and I just put this in the sink and it softens it just enough for me to get enough out to moisturise anywhere on my body if I need to post shower. I always moisturise my entire body after every single shower. I use this. <gasps> the magic in the blue bottle guys my feet are like soft my feet are soft so what is this saying about moisturizers they just don't work they're just rubbish and this is natural and you know there's nothing bad in it because it literally says on the back on it that you can cook with it does it say that am i making that up Okay, I might be making that up that you can cook with this one, but I see absolutely no reason why not because it's 100% pure coconut oil. I'll actually ask my mum, I'll be like, did you get this from a chemist or did you get this from a food store in Goa? Um, but yeah, it just says on the bottle, oh, I'm not lying, I'm not lying. A premium quality, 100% pure, edible oil made from the finest coconuts. Pure coconut oil. That's all it is. And it works. And I don't actually like the smell of coconut things, which is obviously not great when I'm using coconut oil. And I think there's something else that's coconut as well that I've been using. Oh, I literally only used it today. Let me show you. No, let's, let's finish talking about this. I don't actually like the smell of coconut. But I used this and Scott, I got into bed. 
it's got like, oh my god, you smell amazing, what have you been using? And normally, I don't really smell of anything because I don't use fragranced stuff. So, probably as well, Scott was just used, not used to me getting in the bed and actually having a scent. Um, but he was like, you smell amazing, what is it? And I was like, coconut oil. So, yeah. It is husband approved as well because I was concerned. I was like, oh my god, it smells quite strong. He's gonna be like, what are you wearing? Like, what what thing are you trying out now? But he loved it, so it's all gravy. Okay, I'm gonna show you the next thing. I used these today for the first time. I actually bought them a while ago. So it's called Good Gracious, the back the brand, the band, the brand that really cares. Can you see that? Not gonna lie, the packaging did suck me in a little bit, but again, coconut oil. And it says with vitamin C and E to enhance, protect, and lock in color for a radiant, gorgeously glossy finish. Now, as you obviously can tell, I'm not a natural blonde. I am a mousy brown, blousy brown girl. And I get my hair done blonde. I have been, I've been on a hair journey, it's doing really well. I am due to get my roots done on Monday. I will be sure to film a before and after so that you can see the glow up. Um, but I got this obviously because my hair is dyed and on the back it says 97% natural ingredients. Vegan friendly, um, free from sulfates, parabens, pre petrochemicals, silicones and mineral oils. Always tested on people, not animals, 100% recyclable, tube made from 30% recycled material, and it's made in the UK. So, I won't lie, there's a lot of the ingredients in this still, so even with all that information, if you go to the ingredients list, you're gonna find, you're gonna find those nasty ingredients that we know are not good for us, and this is why you need to take things like TRS to cleanse the toxins out of our body because we are exposed to so much but I have used it tonight I've given it a go I've just got the um, they've got like different types of these this is obviously the color care version so I did get the shampoo and the conditioner and I must say it actually washed my hair really nice you know and it's like it doesn't lather up too much. I didn't have to use loads of the product. It, yeah, thus far I am impressed. We shall see how long it lasts because I always think that's like a massive thing as well of if you use a shampoo, if you use a shampoo and then your hair is literally greasy within a day, I mean, there's a lot of elements as to why that could be, but one, maybe you're not actually washing your hair correctly. Two, the shampoo, you definitely maybe shouldn't be using it. Three, you're not cleaning your hairbrush enough, so you're then using a dirty hairbrush with oils. Always use your scalp massager. If you don't have one, I'll show you. I've actually got mine. I literally keep it here next to my sink and my shower on a hook. Scalp massager literally cost me like two pounds or something ridiculous like that from Primark, which I always use now before I wash my hair. And again, I just think it makes such a difference. So yeah. That is all of my product recommendations currently. I shall let you know if there are any changes. I'll let you know how I get on with the shampoo and conditioner, how long my hair lasts in between washes. I do try to make a conscious effort not to like sort of touch the roots of my hair and I don't use heat on my hair. I majoritively wash my hair at night. If I do use heat, it's because I've washed it in the morning and I'm going out somewhere but um, as I've said before and you can quite clearly see my hair is dead straight I am blessed in the words of some people with straight to have straight hair because I know a lot of people be like oh my god I love my hair is just actually straight I actually got a perm when I was 14 because I hated having straight hair and not being able to curl it so that was a fun time <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get a perm again but yeah, I'm just very lucky. I don't need to use heat on my hair. It's dead straight. I don't really need to style it unless I'm styling it purposely because I am going out. That's it from me tonight, guys. I will catch up with you soon. Bye. 
jumping on very very quickly i'm about to go to sophie's the owner of earsas again to film some content so it has been a manic morning here because it's good friday but i will take you guys along and show you what we get up to